In this video, we're going to be showing y'all my new blitz setup out of the Nickel 3-3 Cub. This is a go-to third down blitz for me. I am in the 46 defense because it does have my dime 3-2, and I can run a bunch of different cover four sets. Like, you have the cover four quarters, you also have the cover four palms, and you also have the cover four drop. Um, and there's just a bunch of good plays in there as well. Like, there's a bunch of meta blitzes where you can come out of the safety blitz. Audible to the FS zone blitz and all that good stuff. But today we want to talk about, and we also got the 3-3 stack. So this has been my go-to defense lately. Um, but primarily because I found this blitz, it comes in clutch for me on third downs. You can run a man setup or a zone setup running the Sam Will Blitz 3 for the zone and then the Mike Blitz 0. So let's jump into the practice field and show you how we set this up. All right, so this blitz has been around Madden for years. There's always different ways to set it up. This is just my go-to way that I like to set it up that gets consistent pressure from the edge. And it's going to get your opponent ID in this person, shifting your O-line that way. And once they start doing that, that's when you get easier sheds with just your three down linemen. Um, so real simple how we set this up. When they're in shotgun, whichever side the running back's on, you're going to shift the D-line towards that direction. So I'm going to shift it to the left. Then we're going to blitz our D-line to the inside. So that's left with the D-pad and down with the right stick. And the middle linebacker, which you could put a safety here, but no reason to because we got Roquan. We're going to put them right over the defensive end on the opposite of what, uh, opposite side of the way we shifted. So we shifted to the left. We're going to put them right over the right side defensive end. You don't have to guess pass. Um, this uh, blitz by the middle linebacker is so powerful. It's going to pull the right tackle and right guard and vice versa if you're on the left side. And you're just going to hold left trigger and just kind of veer to the inside. And you see how quick our guy gets off the edge right there. Um, again, once your opponent sees that, they're going to start IDing. They're going to start shifting. Uh, so let's go ahead and show you all again. So shift over, blitz to the inside, and put this guy right over. You don't have to guess past. That's the good thing about this defense. So let's go ahead and just do the same thing. So you can see we get in pretty consistent. Now, obviously, this is with the running back going on a route. We are going to show you what this looks like against uh, the defense or against the offense when we actually have the running back blocking. So we're going to have a right now we're going against five blockers. Then we'll show you what it looks like against six. But I just want to show you how consistent this is and how easily we get that pressure off the edge. All right. So now we're going to show you what this looks like with the running back blocking. Now, the running back can easily pick up the guy coming off the edge. But I want to show you and I want you to pay attention to my D line and my other people blitzing and they're going to shed easier. And I promise you when you're going against a real user, once they see that guy come off the edge, they're going to want to move. And once the quarterback moves left and right, that's when sheds happen instantly. So let's set this up the same shift over. Go ahead and pinch to the inside. Bring them over right here. Very simple setup. And again, this actually works better when you don't shed. And right there, the running back didn't even pick him up because he came in so quick. Now, imagine if you had somebody that's a little bit faster. Now, Simpson is one of the faster linebackers in the game, but you can probably put somebody a little bit faster, like using maybe the Cowboys or something like that. But again, let's go ahead. Same thing. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just look. He has trouble picking up because there was going to be other sheds. So the running backs like deciding, OK, who do I pick up? So this is a six man blitz against just five blitz. Uh, I'm sorry. This is a five man blitz against six blockers right here. Whenever you can find a blitz like that, that's when you can you have yourself a clutch little blitz right there. Right there. They did a decent job. But see the sheds. There's not a lot of time for the quarterback. And then on top of that, the running back blocking. That just means that's less people for you to worry about. And that safety that's guarding the running back turns into like a little vert hook. So he starts helping and picking up in the zone. Like right there, again, the running back didn't even pick up our, our rusher. Um, and this is always going to work because we're shifting towards the running back side. So let's say that the running back was on the right side. We would do the same thing, but shift to the right. So no matter what, like if they want to shift or move the, the running back over to try to get better blocks, all we got to do is just move the D line over. Um, now, obviously they can add a tight end in there and probably help like that. But again, they're just hurting themselves because it's less people blocking. Um, so less people are, yeah, there's more people blocking. So less people that we have to worry about covering. Um, and this is just what makes this blitz OP. So you've seen it with the running back going on the route and with the running back also blocking. All right, I do want to show you that you can run this blitz with the cover three set, but your placement with the user is going to be a little bit different. So what you're going to go ahead and do is the same thing with the D-line shift to the running back side. Make sure you blitz to the inside and you do have to put your user on a blitz and you're going to move them about right here. So same thing if you're on the left side. Put them about between the defensive end and the outside linebacker blitzing. You're going to do the same thing with the left trigger, kind of uh, bring that right tackle in. You're going to see it's going to create problems. It's going to make the, the, the quarterback move left to right 
Um, the running back will pick them up sometimes, but again, this is what the running back blocking. So imagine this zone blitz with uh, the running back actually going on a route. This is just a good way to mix in the man coverage and the zone coverage. By far, the man coverage is a lot better because we know everybody's going to be elite, at least get picked up and we know we can get pressure even with the running back blocking. So from here, let's jump into some gameplay and show you when I like to mix this in. I'm going to try to run like a cover three or a three, three cup scheme where we run cover four primarily and then kind of mix this in on a third down and try to catch them off guard. All right, we got a game against the 49ers. The 49ers is actually one of the best teams to run this blitz with because the linebacker speed they got and they got Fred Warner in the middle and just the defense is just crazy overall and then having nick bosa where you can actually put them just on the defensive end position uh ravens is also probably one of the best teams to do this with as well uh let's put walker here let's see if we can get a nice one play touchdown come out in man coverage for your boy come out in man coverage for your boy let's see um i don't think this is man coverage this is a cover three it's probably a cover three this still might be cover three no Get out there, Lamar. Get out there, Lamar. Tippy toes. Get out of bounds, though. So Lamar was instantly tired from that tackle. I wonder who it was. Was it somebody with an ability? Like, he went to where it's even past a red, where it's like a dark blue. That was based off of a... Oh, yeah, that's crazy. Stiff arms. Get off him. Come on. That boy can't tackle. Though. I got to give it to him. Let me catch you in man coverage. This might be cover, too. Hold on. This might be man coverage. We might have a touchdown right here. Block our running back. Get a little extra time. Yes, sir. Let's go. OP route. All right, we got to put Simpson here. Van Voigt. Van Voigt there. Got to work. Got to get some pressure off rip. So shift towards the running back side. Oh, I didn't mean to guess pass. Oh, we got pressure still. Crazy pressure. Crazy pressure. So y'all seen in practice... We're getting off the, the edge on the right side. That time we got off the edge on the left side. Single back. So I, 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 don't, I don't necessarily recommend this defense against um, single back or anything like that. Um, it's just, oh, I thought he got me with that play action. Man, that was crazy. I actually fell for that. All right, we're back on offense. Let's see if he stayed in man coverage. I don't think it's man coverage because nobody's lined up directly in front of Mark Andrews, and we're taking that. That is Fred. Oh, we got it right over his head, though. All right, we got a game against the Steelers. The last dude ended up quitting. Um, let's go ahead and set this up real quick. We're going to put Simpson here, and Noy here, and Pierce. Um, I, I know I keep saying it's not the greatest against single back, or we're going to come out and cut four quarters right here, or uh, against like run formations. There is a way to set this defense up against run formations, though, where you get good results. Um, let me see here and we're just gonna run the brother regular cover four quarters okay do some gaps uh they can have that all day he can have that all day same thing we're gonna come out in cover four and bluff plus this guy play action yeah hey look at that and we still get off the edge right there all right, so we got him in a third and 17. He should definitely come out. Okay, so he's an empty. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually line this up by man because uh, that is a lot of yards. And we're, we remember if I, I showed y'all that what to do with the empty set. There it is. Look, he got off the edge untouched, man. This blitz is nasty, especially when they're not ready for it and they don't know who to block. We're going for it again. All right. All right, let's set this up again. Remember, just hold that left trigger, strafe in, and we're going to let our... our uh, Outside linebacker get off the edge right here. If he shifts over, then our left outside linebacker should look right there, right up the middle, or not up the middle, right off the edge, man. This bit, this blitz is actually something. We're gonna go into our run scheme, man. This is why I like using the Ravens because I can go into this run scheme out of the Vikings. This definitely looks like man coverage though, but to know for sure, we flip it. All three follow. That's telling us it's man coverage. So I wish there was a stretch. This is stretch player. This is all stretch territory right here. We're just gonna audible to this. Yeah, that's perfect and i think i'm gonna put aguilar on a post we're looking for flowers right here though oh that's money i don't know what he had going on with his user get in there i've been liking this uh gun trips set up too for the red zone um if it's like zone coverage i can go to my, to my rpo um which i think this is zone coverage so we're gonna go to the rpo could be man but i can still hand it off if i need to it is zone 
That's money right there. I'm taking that all day. 